Hello, uh, everybody. Today we are going to revise on specific heat capacity. Now, specific heat capacity usually is represented by a small letter C. Now, specific heat capacity is best explained using example. Now suppose we say that the C of copper is 400 Joule per kilogram degrees Celsius. Now what does this mean? It means that if I have 2 kilogram of copper, alright, and the temperature now is 50 degrees Celsius. Now I want to increase the temperature to 54 degrees Celsius. Okay, the same amount of copper. Now, how much energy is needed? How much energy? Now, it is calculated using this formula. The energy needed is the mass multiplied by the specific capacity multiplied by the change in temperature now in this case the mass is 2 kilogram the specific heat capacity is 400 joule per kilogram per degree celsius and the temperature change is 54 minus 50 and the final answer will be in joules. So specific heat capacity actually is the amount of energy needed to increase each kilogram of the material by one degree Celsius. So for every one kilogram of the material, in this case copper, if I want to increase one degree Celsius in the temperature, I need 400 joules. So obviously if it's two kilogram, then it be times two. If it's three kilogram times three. So if it's five degrees Celsius times five. So this formula is commonly used. Okay, thank you.